creating a diamond in Lightwave can be really easy if you take advantage of the gemstone tool. What we'll do is go ahead and set up a, a quick diamond. So we'll go over to the Create tab under Primitives, More, and we'll choose Gemstone. I'm going to go ahead and hit N for Numeric, and uh, let's change the axis to Y, so we'll get a good look here. Okay, I'm going to move this uh, panel over so that we can kind of discuss both at the same time. Okay, so of course the center options <clears throat> excuse me, are going to allow you to uh, place the, the gemstone, place the diamond wherever you want. And, and right now we're working at the origin, so 000 works for me. Okay, the radius is the overall diameter of the, the piece. If I go ahead and just scrub this, you can see that the diameter of this uh, diamond, of this gemstone, is going to increase. Okay, so this setting is the radius, so from the center out to the edge here. Okay, now symmetry uh, allows you to set how many uh, star facets, kite facets, and uh, upper girdle facets you're going to have on your di uh, diamond. So the star facets are um, these triangles that are right off of the, the table here, right off of the center. <clears throat> and so um, with a setting of eight, you've got eight of these star facets, which gives you eight of these kite facets. Okay, see it's kind of in the shape of a kite. And then um, you can always count on double the upper girdle facets uh, for that setting. So you have 16 uh, upper girdle facets. There, that's these right here because you've got um, you'll have 16 down here as well. Okay, so that's what the symmetry setting does. So if we let's just um, make that 12. So now we'll have 12 stars, 12 kites, and uh, 24 uh, upper girdle facets. Okay. So you have the crown. Now the crown, I'm going to change that. I'm not liking the look of that much. I'm going to go back to eight. I think that looks cooler. Okay, so you have the crown, and the crown is the distance from the girdle to the top of the, of the gemstone. So it's the crown height. Okay, so um, this little strip in the middle, that's the girdle. So if I take the, this little handle right here, I can change the crown setting, the crown height, um, or I could just use the mini slider and change it, but I find it, it pretty easy to, to go here unless you're needing to type in a specific value. Okay, uh, below that is the girdle, and like we said, that's the space here. If you want to give more space, just increase it. If you want to give less space, just decrease it by using the mini slider or by keying in a value. Okay, the table is your center flat facet right here, this um, the centerpiece, and you can change the size of that just by manipulating the mini slider for that option, the table option. Okay, and the pavilion, well that's the pavilion depth, that's from the girdle to the very bottom, and we can change that by grabbing that handle right there, okay, or by just using the mini slider. Now just like the box tool and the other primitives, you can um, change the, the size of all of this just by grabbing the corners of our little bounding box there, our little template handles. Okay, You can also move it by just clicking and dragging on the, the crosshairs in the center. Okay, And then there's one last option we should, uh, we should know about, which is the make air polys. Now, if you're going to take advantage of some of the uh, material nodes uh, in the node editor when surfacing, there's really no reason and you really wouldn't want to, to use the make air polys because what that does, if we select that, it will create duplicate geometry facing the other way right on top of each other on the inside. And that's going to help if you um, want to uh, build up a, a surface um, from scratch and you want to um, you want to get proper refraction on your on your gemstone, well, you're going to want that extra geometry in there um, so that uh, so that it'll react the way um, it would in the real world. But with things like dielectric, you wouldn't need that because it's already set up to do that. So this is just a quick look at using the gemstone tool. Uh, as you can see, there's lots of options to get the the kind of diamond kind of gemstone that you're after. But um, it's really easy to use, and you can get there fast.